Hey Charmers, it is your girl Suzanne here and today we are going to be creating the look that I'm wearing and it is an easy mask friendly look. I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks to make your makeup smudge proof and transfer proof while you are wearing your mask. And all the products that I will be using are actually featured in this month's BoxyCharm box. For those that are not familiar, BoxyCharm is a beauty subscription box and it brings you the best of beauty straight to your door on a monthly basis. And the products that I will be using in today's video are featured in the premium box. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's tutorial. The very first important thing to do whenever you are starting off with any tutorial is to make sure that you take care of your skin. So you first want to complete your skincare routine off camera, that's what I've done. Now before we go into the tips and tricks to make your makeup last longer with your mask, I just wanted to show you the areas that are really impacted with any mask and it's usually the nose bridge over here a little bit along the lines of the mask and definitely around the string areas of the mask on either side. So it's important before we go in with any makeup that we prep the skin in such a way that the makeup will stick on throughout the day regardless of the mask rubbing over top. And then I choose to go in with a primer. This step is optional, but I think that a really long wearing primer of your choice is the best place to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that off camera and then we'll be back to talk about the next important step. So now that I applied my primer off camera, I'm going to go in with a setting powder and yes I said a powder before your complexion product and the reason why is that this is going to give us a really great base before we apply any complexion products to really help with the longevity of your makeup so the very first product that I will be using is by Smashbox and this is their photo finish fresh setting powder I have mine in shade number two now what I love about this setting powder is that it does have an built-in powderizer that grinds up your setting powder to the finest consistency and it helps with mattifying and blurring the skin. So it really gives you a perfect canvas before you go in with your complexion products. So I'm gonna go ahead and lightly dust my face with a setting powder. This setting powder does a beautiful job of melting into my primer. But even if you're just wearing a moisturizer underneath, this will do a great job of adhering to that as well. So Charmers, I have prepped my skin using that setting powder and that's really going to help with the longevity of our makeup and essentially make it transfer proof. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump off camera, complete my complexion products, and then we'll be back with today's tutorial. So Charmers, now that I applied my complexion products, it's important that we set that makeup once again. Yes, this is going to be two times with the setting powder so far, but this layering is really going to a lock in your complexion products. The next item up, it is by Pure Cosmetics. This is the four in one skin perfecting powders. So here is a close up of the palette. It does consist of a translucent powder, a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. For the purpose of this video, I will be only using the bronzer and the blush, and I'll explain why when it comes to your mask friendly routine. So let's go ahead and apply our blush and our bronzer. And this bronzer shade is absolutely beautiful. And this palette does come in three different shades in different complexion ranges, so there's definitely going to be something for everyone. So now I'm gonna be going in with this beautiful peachy toned blush, and I'm going to apply that towards the back area of my cheeks to go ahead and lift the face. And boy, is this blush pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and buff it out and diffuse it. So Charmers, this is what the blush and the bronzer look like on me, and I absolutely love the way that this palette performed. Now, like I mentioned before, I am going to stay away from highlighter for today's mask friendly look. And the reason why is because when you apply highlighter, it would be on the tops of the cheekbones and that's where the string from the mask aligns with and it starts to rub and create a little bit more transfer. And I find that when you do have highlighter, that's more noticeable. So Charmers, now we are going to move on to the eyes where we're gonna add a lot more drama, especially when you are wearing a mask. The only thing that you could really see is your eyes. So we really wanna make sure that we create a big impact. And the product that I will be using is by Dose of Colors. This is the Block Party Single Eyeshadow, and I'm using the shade Heart of Gold. The easiest part to this tutorial is that we are using only one shade on our eyes. Yes, I said one, so it's super easy to achieve. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this product. So here is a close-up of the Block Party Eyeshadow by Dose of Colors. The shade Heart of Gold is this gorgeous sort of old gold color. And the great thing about this formula is that it's super foiled, really, really creamy, and just a lot of little flecks of glitter in it. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it's gonna add a lot of drama and a lot of glitz to the eyes. So let's go ahead and apply the shadow all over the lids. 
And look at how beautiful the shade is. It's super iridescent and I love the fine glitters in it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other eye off camera. So Charmers, to finish off this look, you could simply apply mascara if you'd like, but I really want to make this look a little bit more dramatic, so I'm going to use my favorite liquid liner and some lashes, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera, and then we'll be back to continue with this look. So Charmers, our eye look is complete, and it's so crazy how one eyeshadow can make a, such a big impact. That shade, Heart of Gold, is just so beautiful and so iridescent. Now, Charmers, I'm going to apply my favorite setting spray off camera. It's important to choose something that's really long wearing, especially with a mask. You really want something that's really going to hold on to those complexion products, even with the friction from the mask. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my favorite setting spray off camera. Now this step is definitely optional, but I would highly recommend it, especially if you're going to be wearing your mask. So Charmers, now on to the last and final step, and that's the lip product. Now what I would recommend with a mask is something that's a matte formula. Again, when you are wearing your mask, anything that is liquid or like glossy will transfer and that's not what you want. You want something that's going to be really long wearing. So you could choose a liquid lip if you wish, but in this situation, I'm going to be using two lip liners to create a lip ombre. So I'll show you what products I'll be using. So Charmers, for the lip product, I will be using two of these lip liners. It is the Real Her Lip Liner Duo. It comes in two shades. The first shade up is called I Am Confident and the other one is called Be Yourself, Be Real Her. So we're gonna go ahead and create a lip ombre using these two shades. The first shade up is going to be the darker of the two shades. It's called Be Yourself, Be Real Her, and I'm going to trace that along my lip line. Now I'm just going to be feathering in that lip liner just so it's not so harsh. Now moving on to the next shade, and it is the lighter shade of the two, and it's called I Am Confident, and I'm going to place this all over the center of the lips and then blend the two shades together. So Charmers, this is what the lip liner duo looks like on me, and I absolutely love the shade combination. Now the great thing about using lip liners is that they are essentially transfer proof. They are really good at gripping onto the lips and really staying on, so they have great staying power. But like I mentioned before, you could easily use a matte formula lipstick of your choice. The only thing that I would recommend that you stay away from when you're wearing your mask is lip gloss, unfortunately, because they do transfer very easily onto your mask. So Charmers, I hope you enjoyed this easy mask friendly tutorial. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in checking out BoxyCharm for yourself, there'll be a link down in the description box below. We cannot wait to see you on a future video very, very soon. Bye-bye Charmers.